you want to shake my hand? Okay, come on, you can do it. You gotta get that lid. Oh, there you go, there you go. Plenty of room for him to fit and squeeze in. I cut that sharp edge off. He's ticklish. Yes, he's ticklish. They're a different brand. Tiny Tim, a new brand of vanilla cookie. Cookies are back there. Don't get your head stuck. Let me see you, Ebony. Oh, you're beautiful. Here's the double stuffed honey. Right, Timmy. You're a survivor. Well, hi, little Napoleon. Here you go, you have a cookie. Hey, I got a big bag of french fries for you. You want some french fries? You are tiny, but you are very big a heart. Yes, you are. You're missing some fur above your your eye, just like Mr. Wiener. Are you just gonna come into the house? Well, here's a sleepy little Napoleon right here. He just came out of his house. <laughs> and I'll throw things up to him and he tries to catch it. He's so funny. Oh, almost little Napoleon. You gotta catch that peanut. I threw him a french fry. I threw him some peanuts out of the shell. Oh, you got it. Good catch. You know, he prefers it like this. Oh, I got some up there. You know, he's a grumpy boy, but he sure is cute. <laughs> I don't think he liked me uh, peeking in in his home. So now that he's out of his house, I might get a uh, piece of rubber and uh, try and drape it over just a little so he can get underneath it and still get in his house because there's a big storm coming tonight and maybe something to help hold the heat in a little better. We're going to have some really cold nights this week. Yeah, you're a grumpy boy, but I'm trying to help you out. Oh, you got it. Good job. Hey, little Napoleon. I'm going to go work on your house. So you eat some dog food down here while well, I get a ladder out and try and make your house a little more rain and snow proof. We're getting a big storm tonight. So when you see me up tinkering by your house, don't get angry with me. Don't come up there and scold me. Know that I'm trying to help you. Okay, this is step one. I extended the roof a little bit with a piece of rubber carpet. I have this cut out hole for him. It's covering that other area where the wind and the snow would have driven in. I'm going to go get my saw now and I'm going to cut that so it's not such a sharp edge for him and he could just crawl right up in like that. Uh, he's got plenty of hay in there. I don't know, should I throw a blanket in there for them? I'm worried that maybe, uh, maybe that smell might turn them off. I hope this doesn't turn them off tonight with this snow coming. I got to try something. That big opening was just going to have stuff, wind and rain and snow pouring in. So this will help a little bit, a little more of an overhang. It's nice and give. I cut this out so this has some give so he could squeeze in and out. Okay, this is a little bit different now. I added this piece that curves around. Plenty of room for him to fit and squeeze in. I cut that sharp edge off. This will keep a lot of the wind and snow from getting in, but it will uh, have enough space for him to crawl in here. Added some soft rags in there for him. Uh, hopefully he uses this. I'm guessing he will. He knows this is where he beds. He's a stubborn, determined guy. He's just going to squeeze in here tonight, and it's going to be a little bit better, a little more protected from the wind and the elements than it was before. I kind of like this system I came up with that he can squeeze in. You know, this is really last minute. Maybe on this side I could add a protective barrier yet. Um, so let's see how this works out for the little guy. Good luck, little Napoleon. Well, hi, Elton John. There you go. Okay, we got the repairs all done to the house. 
There's little Napoleon. He just came down from his tree here. He watched me make all the repairs on his house, so he knows it was me. So hopefully he returns to it tonight. So we got Mr. Wiener right here. Uh, Elton John, Klaus is out there, little Napoleon. Um, sometime tonight we're going to get three to six inches of snow. And so I'm thinking I'm not even going to see him tomorrow. They're probably going to hold up until it melts. Um, so I want them to eat pretty good tonight. I'm not going to have any games or nothing set up. A lot of dog food out there. I'm going to be tossing out a lot of peanuts. Right, buddy? There you go. Is that Bashful? Hi, Bashful. I'm waiting for Wiener to come say hi. I'm waiting for little Napoleon to come back. I want to tell him it was for his own good. What are you doing? Going to take it straight from the source? Oh, that's what you want. Elton loves it in the shell. Hey, Mr. Wiener. You gotta say hi to me, pal. What? You don't want peanuts? What are you looking for? You might be looking for them in the shell, too. Yep. He's looking for the crunchies. That's what he wants. Sometimes they just want that roasted flavor. Little Napoleon, he prefers them out of the shell. Is that what you're looking for? I'm not sure what you're looking for, huh? Hey, I got a big bag of french fries for you. You want some french fries? <laughs> there you go. We were at a hamburger joint tonight. And we got a large fry and it was way too much fries. So, uh... <laughs> these guys can enjoy something. And it's cooked in peanut oil, so they really gotta like it. Oh, there you go, Mr. Wiener. Get your fat tonight. You're gonna need it. It's gonna get snowy and really cold. Yeah, there's Mr. Grumpy right there. Hey, Wiener, I was working on his house. He moved to my backyard. Can you believe it? That's craziness. So, I built a uh, eight-foot uh, raccoon tunnel next to my fence under my canoe. And I haven't checked that in a while. I know during the winter there were possums that were utilizing that. So there's blankets in there. It's almost like a nice uh, carpeted hammock in there. So it's real comfortable. So any of these guys are welcome to hold up in that tunnel should uh, something happen to their home. And I'm sure most of them have checked it out by now and probably peeked their heads in there or walked through it. And it's all waterproof. It's all dry in there. So... That's always a shelter ready to go for them. And like last year, well, here's uh, Elton John. His mom, Cleopatra, utilized my tarp that was covering my firewood back in that area. And there must have not been enough room in her den for the, all her five babies. So that's where she kept them. She kept them under our tarp. And I would go every morning and put some dog food right outside of it for her. And she'd pop out right away and start nushing on it. And then those were some of the first babies to show up here. Because they were so close. So, I know they'll utilize what's in your yards. You don't want them utilizing uh, your roof. So, like for me, there's no branches that go from the tree to the house. I've got that all trimmed far enough back. Something where a squirrel can jump and do it, but a raccoon, raccoons don't jump. So, nothing that a raccoon could use. Because they will pull up shingles and they will tear into wood. You saw what he did in that squirrel house to make that entrance bigger. Um, where there's a will, there's a way with raccoons. That is always the case. So here comes Tiny Tim. Hey, hi there, pal. Oh, you're looking so good. Oh, you're such a good boy. I like it when you're a healthy boy. Yes, I do. You've overcome three big injuries, a back leg, a front leg, and your eye. That eye went really fast. I wish his legs would have healed up that fast. And I don't even want to say he's completely healed with his front leg. He, uh, he moves real funny with it, but he gets around. It, it's not like perfect mobility, but it is enough to make it. 
So raccoons are survivors. They will always surprise you with what they can bounce back from. And their pain tolerance is amazing. And uh, a lot of viewers have commented on that with uh, the one save scene where they see horrible scars or a tail get bit off and they just keep coming back. Right, Timmy? You're a survivor? You are tiny, but you are very big a heart. Yes, you are. There you go, pal. There you go. How's that foot doing? He had an injury on his foot some time ago that was so bad. It was so big, so puffy. But uh, look at him. He's just doing wonderful. He always has something. He gets into a tussle with someone. He comes back with a gash above his eye or a cut on his leg or a limp. And then before you know it, it's all better. He's got a scar on that front leg. I remember that injury. I'd say pretty much every raccoon a couple years into adulthood has a, some sort of a scar on them. Uh, Gertie Monster, when I was filming her attacking that unicorn pinata, the light was just perfect where you could see a hole in her ear like she had a piercing. And I'm guessing a tooth went straight through that ear. Wiener, you liking those french fries? Yeah, that's different, huh? Change it up a little bit. Yum, yum. What are you looking for? What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? You want to shake my hand? Okay. Shake my hand. Oh, that's what you saw. <laughs> I want them to have a lot of fat tonight. <laughs> it's going to be really cold all week. Every night. And that snow is going to have them hunkering down for a couple days. I just know it. I won't be surprised if I don't see one of them tomorrow with six inches of snow. They're a different brand. Let's see if you like them. I think he does. Mr. Wiener, do you like the new brand? Do you like the new brand? I think you do. Let's see if Tiny Tim likes the new brand. Tiny Tim, a new brand of vanilla cookie. Because raccoons can't have chocolate. He says peanuts, please. Little Napoleon. Okay, do you forgive me? Buddy, do you forgive me? For going up and disturbing you during your day rest? Yay, hey, seems kind of ornery, as always. I just want to pick you up. Let's see how much you weigh, Tiny Tim. I want to pick you up and then I want to pick Gertie up. You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to get it. There you go. There you go. Oh, Napoleon. You gonna get some french fries out of there? He's got a very unique face, I think, compared to the other ones. Especially where, how the black bands end. And then the way the fur is, right by his ear. Very different. I think you're one of the cuter ones, Elton. So Martina in Europe really likes Klaus. Big fan of Klaus. But she says lately skittish is uh, one of her favorites. Everyone likes Mr. Wiener, it seems. Because he's so agreeable and he's so friendly. And he's ticklish. Yes, he's ticklish. Okay, there you go. Are you eating french fries, Klaus? You silly boy, you eating french fries? Elton, let's get those fat stores up for the night. There you go. 
You know, all in all, I gotta say, every night his grumbling's getting to be a little bit less. And uh, people are wondering, now that he lives in my backyard, is he going to see this as his ter territory and is it going to amp up? But I don't know, the, that last nut competition, he, he was pretty decent. He would do a little grunts here and there, but nothing ridiculous. But I'm sure he'll prove me wrong. I just think it's in his behavior. Are you just going to come into the house? You think it's under there? Is that where it is? You found a different one. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> well, you're gonna figure that out. Good luck, Elton John. So I got a lid to a smaller container all the way down the big wider one with two cookies underneath. So that is a real challenge to get a cookie out from under there. We'll see if Wiener comes and gives it a try. Where did Wiener go? He's gone. Don't give up. Keep trying. Come on, you can do it. You gotta get that lid. Oh, there you go, there you go. You're so close, Elton. Come on, buddy. Oh, you could figure it out. That's right, you gotta pull it out. You gotta pull it all the way out. Cookies are back there. Don't get your head stuck. Oh, see, it was worth it. You did it. Good job. Oh, that was a tough challenge. Wish Wiener was around to try that. I think I see Ebony way back by the shed. Ebony, the new name for the giant raccoon. Thank you again, Debbie. What is it, Klaus? Klaus, you wanna play a game? Oh, you didn't give me a chance. Well, hi, little Napoleon. There you go, you have a cookie? Yeah, it's okay. So he's not one for uh, hand feeding so much. So, he was being real nice there. You know, he's grumpy with uh, raccoons, but he's not grumpy with me. Klaus, what's in there? Klaus, can you figure it out? Are you a little nervous about this? Is this a little spooky? Your brother did it. You gotta reach on in. Oh, it's my hand. Yeah. You think I'm going to do something? <laughs> Klaus gave up. Elton! Elton, come on! Okay, Elton, you want to give it a try? Oh, Klaus is going to give it a go. Oh, good job, little Napoleon. Even little Napoleon's playing along. Okay. You gotta get it, Elton. You gotta get it. He said, that's too easy. Hey, okay, here's Ebony. Right next to Ebony is Cutie Monster. We got Grizz here. We got half of ice in here. Oh, the gang is showing up. There's Brutus. Hi, Cookie Monster. How you doing, sweetie? Have some peanuts. Eat up. It's gonna snow tonight. Gotta eat, eat, eat. All of you, eat. Let's put it down. Put down that food. I'm wondering if that's Fiona right there. I haven't seen Fiona in a long time. Oh, Cutie Monster. Okay, sweetie. You're missing some fur above your your eye, just like Mr. Wiener. Did you get scraped too? Probably by Grizz. Ebony, this is day number two. I'm calling you by your name. <laughs> Ebony likes cookies. There you go, Grizz. You big beast. Hey, Brutus. 
Look at that big one right there. Who is that? Is that bear? Look at the uh, fur missing on the back. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. That's another uh, really big male, if I recall. Ebony. Come on, get close. Let me see you. Let me see you, Ebony. Oh, you're beautiful. Such a sweet face. Look at that fur coat you got. Here's the double stuffed honey. There you go. Okay, guys, I'm going to say happy Yoon's Day. It's getting really cold out here. I'm going to keep them really well fed tonight so they can uh, handle this little burst of cold air and hopefully spring will return and uh, we can start looking forward to baby season and having uh, nice long competitions out here where I'm not worried about having the door open so long making my house freezing cold. All right, good night, guys. Have a good weekend. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we got the snow. Look at this. It's about four inches right now. I hope uh, little Napoleon was comfortable with uh, my remodeling for his house. <laughs>